Hello and welcome to my C++ tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple program. All you have to do is to have an ID like Visual Studio or Dev C++. Um, the concept of programming is the same for all IDs. You're learning C++ so it will work in most compilers and IDs. First of all, for Visual Studio 2012, go to New Project. Select Visual C++. If you don't see it right here, go to other languages. Visual C++. Select Empty Project. Name your project. You can change the path and location. I'm going to name it Hello World. Click OK. Wait for a little bit the project to be created. Um, you get the empty window, so we don't have any files to type in the code. We are going to add them. As you can see, source files, there's a folder where we are going to create our main C++ file. Right click, add, new item. Select C++ file. Name it, some name, I'm going to name it with main CPP. Because I always name my uh, my file that uh, contains the main function like that press add and you need to type a few lines of code for every program to work I'm going to type this I stream sorry using namespace sd and we are going to open the main function and type this as you can see this is our how can I say program skeleton uh, this is the basic program that does nothing you have to write code between these two brackets uh, return zero is um, obligational. You need to have it on the end of your uh, code because um, it determines that the uh, program exited successfully. So I'm not going to tell you about this complicated stuff for now. We're going to run the program so we can see what happens. Press play button. Wait for a few seconds. Program ran and stopped. There's our first program. But it's not interesting, right? So, I'm going to show you how to write some message to a console window. So, type this. Hello world. And type this. Now, you need to type one more last thing so we can see the text that's going to be printed. We're going to print hello world on our console window, but if we run the program now, it will run and close again. We cannot see anything. So we're going to we are going to type um, sorry, we're going to type system pause and run the program now. And you you're going to see hello world and press any key to continue. So there is our first program. It's a very basic program. Imagine what you can what you can do with only this. You can type um, some other text. Um, and I'm going to explain you some uh, what does endl and l means. It means that uh, there's going to be a line break. So if I delete this, only leave it like this, you're going to be you're going to see hello world, and then some text, some other text, and then new line. You see. So we want a new line, and we're going to add this run the program and you see hello world some other text 
press enter to or any key to terminate the program. Mm, so that's some basic program. F I'm going to explain you variables and other stuff that you're going to need like inputting the data to the program in the next tutorial so stay tuned. Thank you for watching.